amazing explorers are you ready for this week's exciting video adventure as you watch it let's remember our special ib learner qualities that make us fantastic learners and friends do you remember being a communicator it means we listen carefully and share our ideas and as inquirers we're always curious, asking questions and seeking answers. While watching today's video, let's practice our social and self-management skills. The lessons that will be covered during this week, the week of September 10th, on Sunday, we will learn to spell short A sound or short A words, on Monday, we will learn about short A words and consonants M, S, and T. On Tuesday, we will read the story, The Blackout. On Wednesday, we will learn about nouns or naming words. And on Thursday, we will learn to capitalize the first word in a sentence. In grade one, learning to spell is an exciting step. You will start with the short A words like am, at, sat, man, dad, and mat. These simple words help you build confidence and get ready for bigger reading challenges. And it's the beginning of your reading journey. In grade one, you will learn to use the words into sentences. And here are some examples. Am. I'm eating my sandwich. She is not at home. The cat sat on the mat. The boy sat on the chair. The man kicked the ball. In grade one, you will dive into phonics focusing on the short A sounds and letters M, S, and T. As you learn words like am and sat, you're not just reading but also embracing the IB learner profile, becoming curious inquirers. In phonics, you will learn to blend the sounds of letters and you will learn to identify the beginning and the ending sound of any word. On Tuesday, we'll be reading a story titled The Black Out. And the genre of a story is a realistic fiction, which is a made up story that could happen in real life. Realistic fiction has characters, and characters are real people in the story. In this story, we'll be reading about people living in the same building. They helped, and they took care of each other just like friends. And this story is aligned with our transdisciplinary theme, how we organize ourselves. And it means working together and being good neighbors. It's also about being caring and open-minded and making sure that everyone in the building is happy and safe. Let's talk about naming words. Naming words are special words that tell us the names of people, places, animals, or things. Think about your favorite toy, your best friend, or a fun park you like to visit. All of these have names, and those are called naming words. So whether it's a ball, Sara, or zoo, these words help us talk about and describe the world around us. In the English class, we will learn to write sentences. We will write so many sentences. So we need to learn how to write our sentences properly. So the first thing we need to learn about is capitalizing the first letter of the first word in a sentence. And capitalizing the first word in a sentence is so important. 
It shows the start of a new idea. Especially when you write, it helps people know where a thought begins. It's like telling the reader, here is something new. This rule helps our sentences be clear and easy to read.